Assalamualaikum. Good afternoon. Waalaikumsalam. Okay, semua dah masuk eh? Dah. Alright. Okay. Alright, so today uh, we try to complete the combined factor and the combined factor consists of conventional cases and the unconventional cases. Alright, what's the difference between conventional and non-conventional cases? Anybody would like to uh, to share your opinion on it? Apa beza dia? Conventional dengan non-conventional. Semua dah makan ke ni? Everybody has taken your lunch? Dah, Dr. Dah eh. Makan lauk apa hari ni? Ayam goreng, Dr. Ayam goreng. Awak, awak kat rumah ke awak kat kolej? Baru masuk kolej. Dah, dah masuk kolej lah. Dah masuk kolej eh. Awak makan kat kolej mana? Kat Cengal. Cengal. Ayam goreng. Ada sayur tak? Sayur tak ada tu. Jimat. Dia ayam dengan sayur tu kan. Saya rasa lagi sihat kalau awak ambil sayur. Sebenarnya energy. Actually you can have energy more from sayur as compared to ayam. Serious, betul. Ini tak tipu punya. Alright, what's the difference, Amir? Dah makan kenyang kan? Saya belum lunch lagi tau. Okay, what's the difference between conventional and non-conventional? So for conventional, okay, everything always start at year one. Okay, so you can, uh, you can definitely well, uh, get the value, the present worth ke apa benda at the, at n equals to zero. For the non-conventional or unconventional situation, you can get, okay, the activities. Activities going on, uh, not on year one, okay, somewhere later than year one. So, if you want to determine the uh, present worth value, you need to uh, bring <clears throat> that activities uh, to one year before that activity, okay, and then you need to calculate, okay, what is happening on year zero. Okay, boleh faham so saya, alright, so for this one, okay, so there are some future value at year two. So you want to determine what is actually the present worth of these 30,000 invested at two years from now at n equals to zero. So what you need to do, you need to bring this value to n equals to one, then later on at n equals to zero. You cannot jump from year two to year zero. Tak boleh eh? Ha? Anda faham? This is what we call you need to change perspective. All right. Okay, good. So, all right. So, what we have covered so far, okay, can we just uh, summarize into this question, okay? Remember, I have I've shared the question in the WhatsApp. So, I want to use the same question, okay? As I shared in the WhatsApp, okay, just, uh, okay, let us find a solution for that question. Okay, so ini soalan dia. Sekejap, eh. All right, can you see the question? Okay, you have the question, okay? You already have the, this question, okay? The same question. All right. 
<clears throat> for 2.1, it is on capitalized. Okay, we will cover this uh, once we have completed the uh, combined factor. Okay, for the conventional and unconventional. All right, you, you have uh, this question. Okay, can you read through this question? Okay, what you need to do. Okay, remember what you need to do once you have uh, given the question. Okay, you need to formulate the problem. I don't want to solve this problem because this problem already solved in earlier section. So you can get the solution for this question from section five and six okay so i've given you another question so that you can have uh, another flavor all right so what you need to do if you want to solve this problem okay you need to formulate the problem okay Okay, you need to formulate the problem, then you need to draw the cash flow diagram. All right. So you need to formulate the problem. Okay, you need to formulate the problem. All right, you need to formulate the problem. And what you're supposed to do next is draw cash flow diagram. Then your ultimate goal is to solve the problem. All right, so what can you do now? Can you uh, draw the cash flow diagram for this question? Boleh buat sekarang, saya nak tengok macam mana. Alright, so this company is planning to run a project that requires an initial investment of 70,000. So what is initial investment means? What is this initial investment means? Apa dia? Come on, come on, bangun semua orang. Bangun, bangun. Bangun, bangun. Apa initial investment tu? Macam mana? How can you show this initial uh, this initial investment of 70,000 on your cash flow diagram? Macam mana? Seventy thousand. Yeah, can arrow forward. Okay. Uh, Prem. So can you to share? Okay. The first, uh, the first value of seventy thousand on the cash flow diagram. So can you share in WhatsApp, please, Prem? Orang lain mana? Bangun, bangun. Faiz, Daniel, Hazrul. Zaidatul, Arif, bangun, bangun. Ada doktor, ada. Mana dia? Uh, ada, ada, mana dia? Senyap macam gitu maksud dia tak ada. Come on, tunjuk dekat WhatsApp. Where's your cash flow diagram? Eh, macam terjerit-jerit pula saya. Eh. Penatlah jerit-jerit ni. Abdul Muhi, Abu Bakar, 
Adam Saifullah mana awak? Afiq Nazi Afiq ni ada dua orang. Afiq Nazirul Naim, Afiq Rohaizam, Ahmad Al Fuzail. Mana orangnya? Orangnya mana? Okay, thank you, Prime. Alright, that's good. Okay. Alright, sambung. Arif, Arif Yusof, bukan Arif Irfan. Ya, yeah, Doktor. Arif Yusof, lepas tu, our next course is operation cost uh, 10,000 per year starting year one from the start of the project until the fifth year. So how can you draw this one? <clears throat> Arif Yusof, boleh? Chai Jinglin. Chai Jinglin. Where are you? Are you talking to me, Chai Jinglin? I can uh, yeah. ask you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, good. So Chai Jinglin, so can you draw the third one, okay? The third one is starting on the second year onwards. The operation cost is expected to increase by 3,000 from the previous year. Okay. So can you draw this uh, third one? Chai? Boleh? Uh, boleh, Dr. All right, good. Very good. Okay, so can you share whatever you have drawn uh, in the WhatsApp, okay, and please uh, copy what has been drawn by Prem. Okay, you are so lucky, eh, Prem. <laughs> you just did the first one. The first one always went easy. So that's, that's why... Right, that's right. Okay. So that's why it's very important to person. <laughs> the first person always be the lucky one. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. All right. So, Arif. Okay. Yeah. Arif, dia tak boleh buat satu-satu macam gitu. Dia kena one block. Dia kena panjangkan sikit. Eh? Ah, ya, yeah, dia kena one block. Awak buat one block. Okay. Starting from the start until the fifth year. Uh, Awak right. buat one block, lepas tu kat situ apa tu? A. So we can put that as A1. So Arif, yours is A1. A1 equals to 10,000. Alright? And chai, a uh, china chai, chai chimney. Okay. Are you okay, chai chimney? Yes, yes, sedang buat tu Okay. Uh, do you have any difficulties?
Okay, Arif, what you are doing is wrong. Okay, operation cost is not upward arrow. Operation cost is downward arrow. So, Chai, Chai. Uh, yes, Doctor. Okay, Chai, can you write inside the box? What is actually happening to your block diagram for G? You have the operation cost at 10,000 per year, right? And G is 3,000 per year, right? Roshaydi, yours is wrong. Betul, Chai? Am I correct? Roshaydi? Amir Roshaydi, yours is wrong. You just draw one block, not uh, every year you draw a line. That is uh, uh, very annoying. Eh? Serabut lah, Amir. So Chai? Okay, Doctor. Saya, saya buat. So can you understand what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, Doctor. Okay. Okay. Good, very good, very good, Chai. All right, Dalila. Okay, saya suka nama Dalila. Right, yes, All right. Masa panggil nama je mesti panik. Anak saya tak tahu saya panik. <laughs> saya dia orang tua. <laughs> Nafas awak hembus pun saya awak panik. <laughs> saya bukan ada depan awak lah Dalila. <laughs> awak nak panik tu kenapa? <laughs> saya tak ada jawapan lah doktor. Nak bagi doktor saya pun tak buat. Boleh buat tak soalan ni? Tak, saya tengok-tengok jawapan ni orang. <laughs> saya tak tahu. Cuba buat buat okay, cuba awak buat yang ni. Cuba. Tak cuba tak tahu. Okay, awak buat this one eh. This project will start to generate its first income of 60,000 on the second and third year. So this one is for you, Dalila. So this one is very easy. Kalau bicara income, maksud dia the arrow must be pointing upward. Ah, mandai. Panik tu kenapa? Macam boleh mati lah. Alright, Faris. Faris, yes. Okay. Faris. Faris Hafiz. Yes, betul. Okay. Awak punya tu tak selesai. Baca ayat dia tu. Starting on the second year onwards, the operation cost is expected to increase by 3,000 from the previous year. Lepas tu, dia berceritakan pasal operation cost yang 10,000 tu. Jadi awak kena combine dengan G. Maknanya cost dia tu meningkat. Boleh Faris? Boleh ada. Ah uh, Sebab tu saya cakap dengan Chai tadi tu. Chai punya tu dia buat G. Sebab saya minta dia buat G je tadi kan. Tapi dia punya dia punya diagram block tu dah betul. Cuma dia punya Chai. You need to put your G value inside your block diagram. And you need to include the A. A equals to 10,000 and G equals to 3,000. Okay. So now we're waiting for... Amiru Shaidi, yours is wrong. Tahu? Kat mana salah? Mm -hmm. Buat S block. Itulah. Orang suruh makan sayur, pergi makan ayam, kan? Kan otak dah tersumbat, kan? Cuba kalau makan sayur. Lepas ni tak makan ayam, kan? <laughs> kan nak pandai kena makan sayur tau. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So Dadilah, are you okay? Orang lain macam mana ni? Ada siapa nak volunteer tak? Okay, anybody? Volunteer to draw after the third year, the income is expected to decrease. Alright. Due to competition. 
Okay, the income after the third year is 40,000 per year. Okay, Christopher, very good. But the 10,000, Christopher, answer me. Okay, uh, the 10,000 must be inside the block. And you need to put the A. A equals to 10,000. And your 70,000 is actually your P note. That is initial cost. So initial cost must be P, present value. Okay? All right, Chai. Chai? Uh, yes, doctor. Okay, are you okay? Uh, okay. All right, good. All right, siapa nak buat ni? After the third year, the income is expected to decrease due to competition. And the income after the third year is 40,000. Siapa volunteer nak buat tu? Dalila dah siap? Belum. Anybody volunteer? Saya panggil nama lah eh. Susah no lah awak ni nak volunteer. Macam boleh mati tu. Muhammad Alif. Muhammad Alif. Okay lah, Muhammad yeah, Alif. Uh... Okay. Tak apalah awak lambat jawab kan. Ganjuk lah. Alif Muhaimin. Ada tak? Alif Muhaimin. Tak nak Muhammad Alif. Nak Alif Muhaimin. Ganjuk lambat jawab. Alif Muhaimin. Ada? Awak lukis? Tak dengar. On microphone. Okey. Siapa Goji? Alim Muaimi saya dah, saya tak dengar awak. Okey. Hello. hello? Ya, hello. <laughs> ah. Alim Muaimi, awak buat ni ah. Ha? Yang 40,000 tu. 40,000. Okey. Ah. Goji Z. Ya, doktor. You are so kind. You just help Dalila. <laughs> Dalila? Yes, Dr. Uh, Go GZ has a drone. Uh, the block diagram <laughs> of... Tak ada senang hidup awak eh. Ada orang cover. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright. Okey, Rushaidi boleh. Tapi sebenarnya Rushaidi, your A dengan G tu does not necessarily to have the line to separate A and G. You just draw one block. You don't need to separate A and G. Okey, Rushaidi? Okey, Rata. Alright, what Go GZ has drawn is correct. Alright, thank you. But well, by the way, go GZ, you should write your 10,000 and your 3,000 for G inside the block. You, uh, you write A equals to 10,000 and G equals to 3,000. And that one is A1. Can we put that as A1? A1 equals to uh, 10,000. And for the 60,000, you put uh, A2. Boleh? Okay, doctor. Alright, good. Okay, Alif Muhaimin. Muhammad Alif nak bantu Alif Muhaimin. Okay. Draw the block diagram uh, of 40,000. Which happen, okay, that 40,000 is actually income after the third year until the end of the project cycle. Muhammad Alif, nak tolong Alif Wahimin? 
uh, try saya try jap ah uh, bagus cuba tu yang penting alif buai min ya yeah, doktor ah uh, mana jawapan awak tengah buat ni uh. la no uh, yes ah uh, dia akan ada satu gradient ke doktor untuk 3 to 4 ah uh, sebabkan decrease tu ah uh, tak ada Okay. That's, uh, that's because if you put a gradient, it must have the value. But there's no value to to say that what happened between year three to year four. If there is no value, meaning that you can uh, you can have two separate blocks. Okay. 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 Good. Okay. Good. Thank you. Welcome. Good question. Okay, Alif Muhaimin. Alif Muhaimin. Alif Muhaimin dia tak cakap pun yang 40,000 tu dia bermula dari tahun 3. Baca soalan after the third year. Okay. After the third year. Maknanya bukan tahun ketiga. After the third year means starting at the year four. Alif? Alif Muhaimi? Ya, ya, ya. Ya, ya, ya. Kurang ni kan. Ya Allah. Hai. Cara menjawab tu macam, eh bosan tau. <laughs> Duk manggil-manggil ni. <laughs> Okay, please do correction for that uh, block of 40,000, Alif Muhaymin. Alright, so uh, can someone, uh, kita panggil Go Jizi lah. Go Jizi, will you please complete the cash flow diagram for this question? Boleh, Go Jizi. Okay, I just, I buat sekarang. Eh, nama awak apa eh? Go Jizi tak best lah panggil Go Jizi. Ah, uh, Jesse. <laughs> Jesse. Ah, saya dah agak dah mesti ada nama-nama sedap. Yes, Jesse. Roshaidi, yours is wrong. There is no statement in the question saying that the G value, the decrement of the income for the year 3 to 4 is 20,000. There is no statement. So never put the value of G equals to 20,000. That is very wrong because if you put G equals to 20,000, that happened between year 3 and year 4, meaning that you need to do some calculation on that. So, what will happen to the overall value of the answer will be different. So, it is very dangerous if you put that assumption. Never ever put assumption in engineering economy topics. You just need to draw whatever value given to you only. Okay, Amiru Shaidi. Baik. Terlebih makan ayam lah ni, suruh makan sayur tak? Enggak. 
Cuba kalau makan sayur, tak ada je macam gitu. <laughs> uh, steward. Ya, yeah, saya. Who is steward? Ya, yeah, steward. Okay, steward, yours is wrong. For the 40,000, it does not happen only one year. It is stated, okay, in the question, after the third year, the income is expected to decrease. Okay, and the income after the third year is 40,000 per year. The project, however, can only run for five years, meaning that the income for the third year up to fifth year is 40,000, Stewart. Oh, so oh, kena lukis satu garisan lagi ke fifth year? Yes, yes, you yeah. need to have a block, okay? Ah, okay, 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 faham. Okay, all right. Well, Muhammad Alif, okay, Muhammad Alif, yours is correct. Okay, that is uh, that is uh, another one. Okay, statement here. So this one, salvage value. Can you forget to put the salvage value? Alright, Abu, Abu apa ni? Abu apa? Ah, saya tu. Abu Bakar. Okay. Abu Bakar pun sama eh? Salvage value of fifty thousand. You forget to put that. Ah, baik dah. Alright, good, very good. So Dalila, is that? Okay, dah boleh faham. Jangan main kopi je. Ah, jangan main kopi. Oh, jangan tengok dulu jawapan kawan awak tu. Cuba draw dulu lepas tu semak. Yasmin. Mana Yasmin ni? Yes, ya, Yasmin Khair. Okay, yeah. yours is correct. Alright. Okay, good. Yasmin got it correct. Jesse got, got it correct. Yeah, okay, that's good. Alright, so what we would like to do now is try to solve this problem. Okay. Kejap eh. All right, so this is mine. All right. Okay. I shall put the value inside the box, okay? Everything must go inside the box. So, this one is actually the A2, this one is A3, okay? So, ini silap, eh? So, this one is actually P note, all right? So, this is P note and this one is A1. So, I must put inside the box, okay? So, this is A2, this is A3, and this one is F, okay? And everything must go inside the box. All right. Everything must go inside the box. All right. Now, okay. All right. So let's see the question. Okay. Another company, Segi, is interested in the project and is willing to buy over the project and is offering 30,000. The growth rate is 20%, which is I equals to 20%. Construct the cash flow diagram and decide if Orient Private Limited should accept this offer. Show all your calculation to support your decision. So what is actually happening, okay? So now you are here. So this is you. You are here. Okay. All right. So what you want to calculate is P total. P total at 
and equals to zero. This project is actually does not taking effect yet. So this is actually uh, your plan. Okay, your plan of uh, your company. And if you run this project, so these are the costs that will uh, incur to your expenses. And at the same time, which is at uh, N equals to zero, that is so another company, another company ni nama apa? Another company ni nama apa? Oh, 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 Sagi. Sagi. So, Sagi, Lambatlah pula. Sekejap eh. Okay. Sagi offers 30,000. Alright. So your decision okay accept or reject. Okay, how can you accept decision? Okay, if your P total, okay, if your P total less than Sagi, meaning that you accept. Why? What does it mean by P total? The P total means the present worth, cost. Faham tak? Faham. Okay. So, kalau P total less than Segi offers, okay, meaning that you just, uh, you just sell your company and accept 30,000 from Segi. If your P total, okay, greater than Sagi, eh, terbalik ke saya ni? Ha, betul lah. Is your present worth is greater than uh, whatever offered by Sagi? So you can uh, reject Sagi offer because actually you can enjoy more than 30,000. Boleh? Boleh faham? Boleh faham? Boleh. So, your, so your P total, if you want to, uh, <clears throat> okay, so P total we are talking now is a P total uh, positive or P total negative? Faham tak soalan saya? So, okay, you said you understood. You want to accept offers from Sagi if your P total less than what has been offered by Sagi. So, P total, we are talking here is P total uh, income or, uh, exp uh, or expenditure. Income lah. Income lah. Orang lain faham tak? Anda faham? Ataupun anda sedang tidur sekarang ni? Ataupun anda tak kisah? Apa nak jadi, jadilah. Ini soalan test 2 ni. Uh, test 2 nanti 20% tau. So 10% will be coming from engineering economy topics and your finalize them. Okay. Ada uh, 40% kan? 40% okay then 10% out of 20 uh, sorry out of 40 for your final exam coming from engineering economy topic. Tak faham dalam kelas memang akan tak boleh buat soalan ni. Bukan nak menakut-nakutkan. Nak cerita, cerita. Situasi sebenar yang berlaku every semester.
So faham tak decision dia ni? Alright. So now, okay. Tak apa, tak faham tak apa. Mungkin lepas ni awak akan faham lah kot. Bila kita slowly kita pergi ni kan. Alright. So now, apa yang kita nak buat adalah you have P note. So your P note, okay, your P total, okay saya tulis kat sini eh. So your P total is actually equals to P note, alright, plus P1, okay, plus P2, plus P3, plus P4, alright. So this A1 you need to convert to P1. So this uh, A2 you need to convert to P2. This A3 you need to convert to P3. So this F you need to convert to P4. Alright. So your P note equals to berapa? Your P notes. Your P note, your P at year zero equals to minus 70,000. Ha, dah dapat dah satu. Lepas tu, your P1. Alright. So, your P1, okay, has A and G. So, you want to determine P, okay. So, P is unknown. P1 is unknown. A and G are known. So, which pair of formula you need to use for this situation? Nak saya panggil nama ke? Pair 1, pair 2, pair 3. How many pairs of formula do we have? There are five pairs, okay? While you are solving this, uh, while you are solving economy and changing uh, problems, you need to have in front of you those five pairs of formula. That helps you to answer the question and I want to see every single step of the calculation. I don't want to see you plot in the value and the final answer. No. Because I cannot see what is actually happening to your calculator. You need to write down what is actually happening to your calculator. All right, so for P1, okay, the P1 is unknown. You wanted to determine the value of P1, but you know the value of A1 and G. So which pair of formula you need to use this time? For A dengan for B ke, Doktor? Di sama ada A or B je. Oh. Uh. For A, for A, for A, for A. Yes, for A. So, can you substitute that into the formula and share your answer? Okay, anybody? The answer could be coming from anybody. Siapa yang belum share answer ni kan? Uh, ni siapa ni? Yasmin ni bagus. Uh, Lisi ni bagus. Tak panggil nama dia tapi dia volunteer bagi jawapan. Uh, Abu ni bagus. Amirul Hakim ni pun bagus. Saya tak panggil nama dia tapi dia bagi jawapan. Oh macam ni lah yang kita nak. Proactive. Ini panggil nama baru nak bagi. Boleh? Siapa ada problem boleh share? Boleh bagi tahu apa masalah awak?
Mana semua orang ni semua senyap ni? Ada ke tak ada? Wujud ke tak wujud ni? Okay, switch on your camera now. Alright, switch on your camera. Everybody switch on your camera now. Okay, thank you Faiz. Okay, Chen Chunyo, thank you. Stewart, thank you. Alright. Christopher, thank you. Al Fuzir, thank you. Tak payah. Betul -betul. Tak payah betulkan rambut, tak payah betulkan baju, tak payah. Tak payah betulkan, tak apa. Asal jangan bokir sudah. Alright. So can I have, okay Prime, thank you. Can I have your answer? Okay, Amir Rushaidi, thank you. So can I have your answer for P1? Boleh share dekat WhatsApp? Tak, kenapa sampai sekarang belum ada yang bagi jawapan ni? Tahu ke tak tahu nak buat? Tengah, tengah tulis tu. Tengah tu, okay. Suhail, alright. Suhail, alright. Your P1. Fourteen thousand. Yes, Suhail. <coughs> okay, your uh, 14,000 is for G, Suhal. Okay, that's correct. Okay, what about A? Okay, ni siapa ni? Prime. Okay, that is for G. Yang A tu berapa? That is for G. Okay, that is correct. Okay, thank you Suhal. Thank you Prem. Okay, G gives you 14,708. Okay, Suhail and Prem, okay. I want everybody to take note my comment here. Okay, now everybody, can you please refer to your WhatsApp? Okay, refer to answer from Suhail and Prem. Okay, Suhail, okay, where are you Suhail? I can see Prem here, but I cannot see Suhail. Suhail, where are you Suhail? I'm here, Doctor. Okay, kenapa tak on camera? Tak boleh on camera eh? Okay, so, okay, sorry Suhail and Prem. Uh, my intention is not uh, criticizing your answer, but I want to uh, make your answer better so that you will get full mark for it. Alright, when you answer this question, make sure you give the value of what is the value of 1 plus 0 0.2 a power of 5. You need to give the value of that. And you also need to give a value, okay, yours is uh, a better prime, but you need to give the value of uh, the difference between uh, 2.99 and 2.00 something, okay? You need to give the difference between those two values, then if multiplied by 15,000, you will get 14,000 uh, something like that. Okay, because I wanted to see what is actually happening in your, com uh, in your uh, calculator. If you give me an uh, answer like this, I'm sorry, I cannot give you full mark for that. Okay, Amiru Shaidi. Jangan termenung. Maksudnya tak boleh kira terus lah doktor dalam kalkulator? Saya tak tengok kalkulator awak. Kan? Hmm. Yang nak buat kalkulator awak tu siapa? Awak seorang je kan? Yang nak bagi markah siapa? Saya kan? Ha, tunjuklah kat saya. 
<laughs> Macam orang menyampah kan Memang menyampah lah nak dapat markah penuh kan Kenalah buat kerja sikit <laughs> Alright Okay Faham eh? Alright So the A, the answer for A What you have given is G, I want the answer for A Ada, ada orang buat? Faris ke buat? Amir Roshaydi ke buat? The answer for A Okay. Orang lain macam mana? Awak tak tanya saya tak tahu eh. Awak faham ke? Awak tak faham ke? Saya tak tahu. Jadi awak kena bagi tahu saya kat mana awak tak faham. Alright, so can I have the answer for A? Ada, dah ada orang dapat? Okay, prime. Sekejap ni. Eh. Awak cari jawapan apa ni, Prem? You are not looking the answer for A, Prem. You are looking the answer for P. Salah. Aduh, penatlah macam ni. Salah tu. Oh, awak guna je nombor tu eh. The value of what it is. Salah. Mana formula dia ni? You uh, must... Sorry, Dr. Silap, silap. You must use the value of 10,000. Kena tulis formula tu betul-betul. Are you sure you got your formula correct, Prem? Uh, no, Doctor. Uh, I actually used the wrong one. Uh, ah. Sorry, Doctor. Sorry, Doctor. Uh, sorry, Doctor. Ah. I just realized. Ah. Sorry, sorry. Tak, kenapa awak panik ke? Ini bukan, this is not test and final exam yet. Tak payah panik pun.
Okay, so what is the answer for P1? Okay, Stewart, why you want to find the value of A? Given value of G and you wanted to find the value of A. Bukan doktor cakap tadi nak cari A? Bukan. Oh, sekejap saya snap P lah. Saya ada kira lah. So can you, okay, have you referred to the correct formula? Tadi saya ada buat P juga. Eh, jangan main kira-kira tau. Tengoklah formula betul-betul. Alamak, risaulah orang ni. Alright, you refer to uh, which pair? Uh, pair number three or pair number two? This one. Is this pair number two or pair number three, this one? You wanted to find the value of P where A is given and G is given to you. So this pair number two. Pair number two, eh? Is it two A or two B? Okay, so this is the one that you want to determine. All right? Okay, Stewart. Okay, okay. Yep. Okay, eh? all right, good. All right, Amir. Yes. So, okay, the A actually gives you P equals to 29,903. Oh, jauh sangat lah, Amir, dari... Well. My answer, Amir... My answer is 29,960. 29,960. And yours is 29,903. So you're missing six, almost 60,000. So you're missing almost 60,000. So mungkin dalam Bukan sixty ringgit. Eh? Uh, buka. Eh, eh sixty ringgit. <laughs> sixty ringgit. Ala kecil je kan. Ah boleh lah. Boleh lah kecil. Sebab banyak. Sebab tak kira terus kot tu. <laughs> banyak apa? Sebab kan macam kira ah uh, 1 plus i power n, lepas tu ada decimal yang dah buang. Ah, ya, yeah, betul, betul, betul. You are correct. So what is the total for P1? Okay, can you give me the total for P1? So P1 is minus. So can I get the value for P1?
Sekejap ya, Prem. 44,600. Yes. Is, uh, mine is... Uh, Yours is 44,624. Uh, lebih kurang lah. Mine is 44,678. Boleh lah. As long as number 6 ni correct, so correct lah. Alright, okay. Now coming, okay. So can we determine the uh, P4 first, okay? You need to determine the P4 there because P4, when you want to bring, uh, when you want to see the present value of this 50,000, so you can use the formula of P and F, okay? That's straight away you can get the value of P. For the F equals to 50,000. Okay, for A2 and A3, so these two are the non-conventional. So we need to calculate later on. So can we just, uh, okay, we uh, calculate the P4 first. All right, what's the value for P4? Okay. All right, can I get the value for P uh, for a salvage value of 50,000 at the end of year five? Twenty thousand. Yes, twenty thousand. Mine, I got mine, which is uh, twenty thousand ninety-five. Right, be kurang na to be kurang. All right. So next, we want to calculate the A two. All right, kita padam dulu eh. Sekejap ya, kita padam sikit bagi dia tak serabut. Okey, sekejap ya, kita padam dulu bagi dia tak serabut. Alright, so kita buat yang ni dulu eh. Alright, so this one is A3. Okay, so this A3 <coughs> that happened for the year 2 to year 3. Okay, so you cannot determine present worth for A3 equals to 60,000 at N equals to 0. Why? Because it does not happen at year 1. So what you need to do, you need to determine P2 
at year one first. So here P2 is equal to P prime. All right. So for the P2 prime is unknown and A is known. Okay. You can use the formula pair number two. Am I right? So for this one, I equals to 20,000. And what is N? For P2 prime, what is N? Okay, at uh, P2 prime at N equals to 1. So your N that involved in D calculation is equals to 2. Because it is for the year 2 and year 3. So 2, 3. 2 lah. So N equals to 2. Okay, so can you determine the value of P prime here? Boleh? Boleh eh? Okay, dah. Right. If you determine the value of, okay, is it 44,000? 44,000 yang mana? Okay, bukan. Alright, can you uh, write your name uh, for your attendance, for today's attendance? Okay, nama sekarang eh? All right, I mean, boleh dapat. So what is the P2 prime? Eh, so saya salah tu. Okay, tak apa. Cuba lagi. <laughs> ha, dapat 91,000 lah tu. 91,000, all right. So 91 eh, saya letak 291. All right. So now you want to determine, so this is unconventional situation eh. So once you have the value of P2 prime and you want to determine P2 at N equals to zero, so automatic dia dah jadi conventional situation. So you want to determine the value of P2 and you already calculated the value of P2 prime. 
if you want to determine the value of P2, so automatic this P2 prime dah jadi F value. Okay, boleh? Alright. So what is P2 value? Hey, Mira. Uh, ya. Yeah. Value n apa pula ya betul? Kalau untuk kita okay. jadikan dia sebagai f. Yes, for this one n equals to 1. Faham eh? Okay. So, everybody, okay. okay, everybody you got it uh, correct for n Okay. So what is the what is a P2? 76,000. Yes, you got it correct. So P2 equals to 76,000. Right, that's correct. So for P3, okay, so so this P2 is positive because it the arrow pointing upward so for the p2 my answer is seventy six thousand three hundred and eighty six all right all right so for p3 okay you can use uh, the same method as p2 what you need to do you need to determine P3 prime at n equals to zero. Then, if you want to determine P3 at n equals to zero, okay, you must regard this P3 prime as your f. Okay? Pandai. Cepat aja kamu dapat, eh? Okay, very good. Okay, can you uh, determine the value for P3? Then we calculate the total value.
Okay. You got it correct, Roshaydi, for P3, for P2. Okay. Doktor, and dia ambil empat eh? Untuk uh, P3, uh, and dia satu. Empat, lima. Sorry, dua. dua. Untuk P3 prime, and dia dua. Empat, lima. Dua lah. Angkat tangan awak. Empat, satu jari. Lima, satu jari. Ha, dua. Okay. <laughs> Okay. No, uh, Prem, your P3 is not 30,000. Yours is wrong, Prem. P3 should be 35,365. P3 is 35,365.
Ha, doktor nak tanya pasal ni. Boleh. Untuk setiap kali saya nak minim ada semua point. Tak kisahlah ada semua point tu. Oh, so Decimal, kalau main. Ah, decimal point tu tak tak ni sangat. Even the last even the last two digit so you got it uh, wrong pun macam okay lah. Sebab kadang-kadang awak tersalah ambil decimal points lah apa kan. So kita selalunya the last two digits tu uh, tak sama kita masih boleh bo boleh diambil kira betul. Kalau macam 60 ringgit tadi tak lepas lah doktor. Uh, tak risau sangat lah. Tapi macam besar jugalah kan. Ah, yang darab macam ni. Right, okay. Ya, yeah, uh, betul. So what is your P total? Okay, can I have a P total? Yes, Amir, you got it correct, 35,000. All right. Okay. All right, can you calculate the P total? Orang lain macam mana ni? Saya risau lah. Yang jawab ni orang tu, yang bertanya pun orang tu, yang lain ni tak tahulah wujud ke tak wujud. Zarif Ashraf Zarif Zarif Ashraf tak wujud eh Zulhasni Muhammad Daniel mana Daniel Bentugi mana Danish Irfa Danish Irfa Yerote Daniel Bentugi mana? Ada Yerote Ada, apa P total awak? Ya Yerote Daniel Bentugi Ada Yerote Uh, apa P total, uh, P total awak? Sekejap uh, Atta, tengah kira ni. Norwifa, Norwifa Hima. Ya, yes, Atta. Mana P total awak? Sekejap, uh, tengah kira je. <laughs> Ashraf bin Amar Barum. Zaidatul. Afiq Rohaizam mana? Afiq Rohaizam Aiman Hakim Hakim mana? Takif Zarif Ashraf Ini senyap ni tak wujud dah ni eh. Wujud nama je eh. Okay, no problem. Saya tak kisah. Awak nak tipu saya, saya tak kisah. Sebenarnya awak bukan tipu saya. Awak tipu diri awak. Saya tak rugi apa-apa. Awak tak datang kelas saya, saya tak rugi apa-apa. Yang rugi ni awak. Okay, Ashraf kita ada dua eh. Seorang so, lagi Ashraf bin Azlan. Okay, Ashraf bin Azlan mana? Okay. 
dia tunggu je kan bila nak bagi nama ni kan dah bagi nama sambung tidur lah sambung apa semua sambung eh tak apa no problem Okay Alright, so can I get the P total? Then we can, okay, once you get the P total value, then we can, we can make decision. Alright, so P total, okay, make sure, okay, it doesn't matter, it can be positive or negative value. If it is positive, then what you should do? If positive uh, more than 30,000, you can uh, reject the uh, SEGI offers because you can get more revenues from your investment. Okay. All right. Okay, that's good, Amir Roshaydi. All right. Okay, Stewart two. All right. The P total is seventeen thousand. Okay. So what? Okay. It looks like you will not get much uh, benefit or much uh, profit uh, for the project. So what you need to do? You simply accept offers are given by SEGI. All right, so that is what you should write in the uh, final answer. Okay, okay, good, everybody understood. All right, the second part. Okay, so for this uh, chapter, okay, this chapter covers the uh, conventional and non-conventional uh, situation, all right? So we have completed the conventional and non-conventional situation. All right, the second part, okay, for this chapter is capitalized cost, okay? Okay, I don't intend to cover the capitalized cost now, okay? I would like to start this on Wednesday, all right? So this capitalized cost is also a very popular question for every semester, uh, be it uh, during a test or final exam, you will always get the question related to capitalized costs, all right? So we will cover this capitalized cost on Wednesday, then we proceed to next one, which is the Okay, for the combined factor, we almost completed. Okay, we have completed all the combined factor. All right. So, finally, okay, the third one is... So, this one is effective and nominal growth, okay? All right, and we also have uh, one chapter that is what we call it. Uh, kejap eh, saya tengok. Uh, part three, we put that as part three. Okay, so this one, we put that as part three eh. Kejap. Okay, we also have uh, this part three, okay. So this is actually methods to evaluate alternatives. So this one actually, uh, there is no, uh, there is no new knowledge for this part, all right. 
we just uh, use uh, whatever knowledge that we have covered so far. But this chapter specifically, in this chapter three, is actually for you, has be, uh, is going to be exposed to the methods to evaluate alternatives. Actually, these uh, notes actually is a self, uh, self-explanatory notes, okay? I don't even have to explain to you. You can uh, understand uh, by yourself by read through all the notes, okay? You know what? Dah ada dalam e-learning kan? Alright. Okay, so kita tutup semua dan Alright. Okay, if you look, okay, at your calendar, okay, uh, next week, okay, Monday, uh, yes, Monday, we're going to have a public holiday, okay, so there will be no class, uh, there, there will be, okay, we're going to miss two hours slot, all right, okay, and you're going to have uh, two homework, all right, you're going to have two homework from this chapter, okay? I will give you two homework, uh, two homeworks for this uh, chapter, and this chapter has to be submitted before your test two. And your test two, okay, will be uh, on 26th of June, okay? And your Chapter 2 is going to cover uh, chapter 12, okay? There will be question 1 uh, from chapter 12, okay? Alright, there will be uh, question 1, 5% on chapter 12, inventory management, and chapter 14. Okay, remember your homework too for chapter 14. So, chapter 14 will be covered in final exam. All right. And question two, 5% will be coming from chapter three, project management. All right. And question number three, 10%. Okay, will be coming from engineering management. So your engineer, sorry, engineering economy. So your engineering economy, okay, actually uh, give weightage uh, half of your test two. So percent from engineering economy, five percent from chapter twelve inventory management, and five percent from chapter three, which is project management. So I will give two homeworks and that two homeworks I will give separate deadlines uh, of submission for those two questions and I will make sure before your test two I will share the answer. Only the answer, eh, the final answer, not the detailed workings for the uh, solution. I will not give that. Okay, for your uh, homework one, homework two, bukan eh, homework two tu saya akan bagi jawapan sebelum final exam. Homework one, for homework three and homework four. And you also going to have a homework five. Selepas kita cover uh, engineering economy topic. Okay, ada soalan so far. Ada soalan? Clear. Clear. Okay. Very good. Tiada ada soalan. Tiada ada soalan. Nak balik eh. Kalau kelas tu nak balik kan. Tapi ni nak balik ke mana. Memang dah duduk situ je kan. <laughs> okay. Alright. See you all this Wednesday. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum. Bye-bye.